Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we will be talking about the backbone controller. Right here, this one. First of all, a huge thank you to the guys over at Backbone for sending it over. I've been using it for a little bit over two weeks and I really, really like it. But we'll get to my first impressions and thoughts in just a second. Starting off with what's inside the box. The box is very minimal, goes straight to the point. Uh, inside you'll find the controller and a few uh, papers with a few details but the installation process and how you use a controller is very intuitive so there is not going to be a lot of problems for you to get started it's uh, very easy to use very easy to understand there's an app for the controller backbone which you should download when you get one of these and the app will guide you step by step on the things that you have to to do to confirm to give access to create your account and in just a couple of minutes you're all set and good to go the design itself of the backbone controller is very sleek it's robust but soft touch i don't know if it makes sense so the design is well thought out uh, the, the buttons, the layout, everything is where it should be. You get used to it very, very quickly. You feel at home, if I can put it like that. If you've been using a PlayStation or an Xbox before, then you'll be very familiar to how console controllers work and the layout of the buttons and how to use them. You can also set the buttons to uh, do different specific um, functions but I'm using it as it came out straight out of the box and I haven't been having much of an issue so it works works just fine one thing is with the real racing game which I haven't managed to figure out yet but I'll be I'll touch that point in a few seconds um, now to the games which are available for for this controller you have a lot of options you have uh, Apple Arcade you have um, a few suggestions in the Backbone app as well. The Backbone app recognizes not all of them, but most of the games which work with the controller once you've downloaded and registered in the app. You can see them as a suggestion in the layout of the app and they're very straightforward. Once you open the game, you start moving around. Maybe in a few games you will have to figure out a little bit how to use a controller and which buttons have which function, but nothing too difficult. So one, one point to keep in mind is that the controller does not work with cases. So if you have your phone with a case, which in, with me, I sometimes have a case, I sometimes don't have a case. Cases do tend to go to my nerve every <laughs> once in a while. Uh, if it's a leather case, sometimes it just feels too sticky or too dirty. And if it's a rubber case, um, it's either sometimes too glitchy. I don't know. I'm just a weird person, I guess. So sometimes I'll be using my phone without a case. Sometimes I will be using with a case. The controller does not work with your phone in a case. So you will have to take it out to use it but the chances that you drop your phone while using the controller i i mean unless you're walking and playing at the same time i guess it's it's safe so you've got the games in your in your phone you've got the games from uh, the apple arcade you've got also the option to connect your playstation or your xbox uh, there are also other streaming options for you with other gaming consoles which are different ways to access your games from these consoles uh, through stream um, on, on the backbone but for me I only have the PlayStation and the apps on my phone so I tried connecting it to the PlayStation it works great but I would really really appreciate if you could actually use the games of your PlayStation while you're outside of your Wi-Fi network because you can only use the games of the PlayStation or you can only connect the back backbone 
to the PlayStation through Wi-Fi when both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi. So you cannot turn your PlayStation on, uh, connect the backbone before you leave and then be outside or somewhere else far away and expect it to work. It doesn't work like that. You have to be on the same Wi-Fi connection. So for me at least, if I want to play PlayStation I, and I'm at home, I'll just use a PlayStation with the bigger screen of the TV instead of doing it on the phone. However, I do understand the point that maybe you're sharing the TV, you've got maybe family or friends, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, anyone who wants to use the TV for another purpose like watching a movie perhaps or Netflix and you want to play at the same time. So what you do is they keep watching, they use the TV and you just turn on your PlayStation and you can be gaming while Netflix is running. So I guess that would be like the best benefit you could get out of, of that. Otherwise you could play in bed, but if you have a TV in your bedroom and the PlayStation is connected to that TV, so I don't know. For me personally, I would stick to the PlayStation if I'm at home. I thought it would be able to use it while I'm outside, which would have been amazing, but it doesn't work like that. So maybe some kind of software update will make it possible. I don't know, that would be very, very cool. But otherwise it works, it works great. The only app that I haven't been able to use, although it apparently works with the backbone, is Real Racing. I don't know why. I, I tried I tried it on the iPad, I tried it on the phone. You can connect the backbone controller to the iPad through the lightning cable, lightning to USB-C. Then you can use your controller with the iPad instead of, because the iPad obviously doesn't fit inside of here. The uh, logo is here at the back, which is pretty cool. So you cannot fit your iPad in, inside here. And if you have an iPad Pro or an iPad, from the newer generations, they don't have a lightning port anymore. So you have to connect the lightning cable here on the bottom. And on the other end is the USB-C, which connects to the iPad and then you can use it like this, which is which also cool. Uh, I would have loved to use it with real racing. Uh, I cannot, I don't know why. Uh, I tried on the phone, I tried on the iPad. The, the controller is not doing anything. It lets me know, the app shows me like a hand um, icon that a controller is being used, but I cannot select anything and I cannot steer, I cannot brake and I, I cannot move the car in any direction. So if you guys have one of these and you had the same trouble with real racing and the backbone controller, or if you know by any chance what I'm doing wrong, please let me know either here in the comment section below or send me a DM on Instagram, whatever is better for you. I would really appreciate it. Um, and well, that's basically it. I mean, it doesn't make sense for me to go much into detail with the different games because there are many games. Uh, the ones that I like to play is Call of Duty, uh, Real Racing, those are basically my, my top two games. And sometimes Alto, um, the Alto Adventures, Adventures, I think they're called. Um, but that's not very difficult to play. You can play with a screen. It's just nice that you're not with your fingers on the screen on the phone. So, so yeah, but if you are a big PUBG fan like myself, and you thought that you could use this controller for PUBG, it doesn't work. So keep that in mind, don't buy this if that's the only purpose you were thinking on using it. So there are many other games from Apple Arcade. Uh, a few of them I've been trying out, but not long enough to, to tell you, oh, that's a good game. You should definitely try it out. Uh, so maybe I can give an update about the games that I would play with this controller on the phone or on the iPad. But if you have a lot of games on the PlayStation, and you're in a situation where you can see a profit out of it because other people use the TV most of the time and you would like to game as well and you're at home, well, then there you go, that's a great solution. So it's definitely well made, well designed for gaming. It won't disappoint you. And it's uh, it's definitely a cool gadget. I mean, it's, it's cool to have, it's nice to use. 
I would like the option to use it with a case as well because if I'm using a case I don't want to take the case off and put it back on and whatnot but it's not a deal breaker for me so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any further questions about the controller or about anything else or suggestions for new videos uh, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on the next one take care